G'day, it's Mike here. Um, what I'm doing today, there's been a lot of questions from some people about where to put your battery. What position is important to stop the hobby horsing or have the bow down or the back up to stop, um, you know, the, stop the boat nose diving. Uh, so what I wanted to do was talk, talk about the longitudinal uh, center of gravity on these boats. Now, you've got a weight down here at the bottom, right? and that holds the boat upright. The longitudinal center of gravity is the position on the boat where if we put, and here's my little two pointer, we put the, it against here, where is the boat going to stay upright? Okay, completely upright. And by upright, I mean not too far forward and not too far backwards. Okay, we need to find that exact point because that is the longitudinal center of gravity where the boat is completely balanced. What we want to do is work out where the balance point is and then basically put our battery in exactly the same position. What I'm going to do is go in and we're going to work out where the center of uh, longitudinal center of gravity is with using this two pronged long approach. Very simple, but um, hopefully it works. Here we go. G'day, it's Mike here and we've come inside and what I've got here is you'll see a red line here. This is a horizontal line. This is basically the water line of the boat. What I'm going to do is put this edge, the front edge of the water line on there, right? And then the back edge on the back edge of the there by moving this backwards, uh, forwards and backwards just to see where the center of the longitudinal center of gravity is. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're moving this position around a little bit and trying to work out what is level. And what I might do is just ask Jen is when it is level to let me know. And um, when it does look level, how's that looking, Jen? Is that no, the, back's high. the back's high? Okay, so I have to move that forward. How's that look relative to that should be the front. It should be just down the back here. How's that looking at the moment? Back still high, so I'll move that a bit for, further forward. Further forward still. Mm -hmm. Okay, just moving that forward, further forward. What's that look like, Jen? Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Hang on, just move that forward a bit. How's that look? Well, you, you, your nose is in the water in. Yep. And the back is... Is it high? Yeah. Is it high too high? So I've yeah. got to come back a little bit. Get the nose down a bit. That's what you're suggesting, isn't it? Or is that no, was it the, the other way, the other direction? Okay. Let's go that way. No, that's too far. That's not far enough. Uh, how's that look? No good. No, just well, it's not still. Yeah, you, that, yeah, that's pretty good. You've just got the tip of your nose out and the tip of your back out. Right. So we're getting pretty close to this position here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is mark that position. Okay. And what I've done here is marked it, that position, and I'll make a little black mark on this. All right. And we'll, I'll just show you shortly what I'm doing. Okay. G'day, back again. So what I've done is I've worked out where the long, longitudinal center of gravity is. And why is this important? It's important because we need to decide where the battery will go. The battery basically is your trim weight. If you want further um, pressure on your bow, you move the battery forward of the center of gravity. Uh, if you want the bow to get further out, you move the battery backwards. That's your trim weight. And it's really important for in RC sailing uh, to move this component as it affects ultimately um, your performance upwind and downwind for that matter. If the bow dips and the stern lifts in chop, you have to move your battery aft. If the stern drags and the bow slaps down, 
then you have to move your battery forward. Small adjustments between you know, 5 and 10 mils in your 45 gram battery makes a huge difference to your, your upwind performance. So it's critical to get these, this right. What you find is the longitudinal center of gravity on the A and B rig is quite different from the A plus rig because of the weight difference of the mast and the sails. So there's slight variations which require some adjustments to the battery position to ensure that your battery is balanced, uh, the boat is balanced, and your boat is in the optimum position for sailing upwind. That's it for me now. Uh, if you're interested in doing the masterclass, please feel welcome to join me and um, we share all these measurements um, to those participants. Uh, that's it for me. Look forward to seeing you on the water. Bye for now.